All right, so I've got to show you here. This is incredibly cool. I've got four panes opened up in iTerm here, and I'm using the broadcast mode with Option Command and I. And basically, I can just type in a command. It'll be typed into all four panes, and then run it here. That'll open up NeoVim in all four panes. And you can see I've got the exact same document opened up in all four spots here. And as I type here, watch what happens. So I'm going to go into insert mode and do nothing else. Look at that. I've got completions running on all four instances, and you can see completions coming back that are different. If I just hit return here, I'll generate a whole new set of completions. So I can just keep changing this here, and you can watch as I'm generating completions in each of the four windows in parallel. And this is all happening because I'm running this on a 5090, and I've got Olama set up with the capacity to do four requests in parallel. And you can see, basically takes no time to serve four different clients' completions. This is absolutely incredibly cool. And you can see each one's different here. So it's not like it's one that's repeated among all. I'm getting four different sets of completions. And if I put something like foo in, they all complete along the same lines here. Basically what's happening here, when there's a forward pass during inference, I have the entire context available to serve multiple requests. So I've got four different requests that come in and then it's one forward pass across all of them. So I can serve four different requests in the exact same amount of time it would take to serve one request. And considering that I probably only have maybe a thousand tokens in each request here, I have a 32,000 token context with this model. I actually know the Quinn model has the capacity for 128,000 characters in the context. I actually could probably serve up 16 clients just as easily as I could do four here. Let's actually split this up a little bit more here. So now let's do this inside of eight different windows here. All right. I'll center the document here. Actually, I might move up a little bit in each one just so we have some more space here. And let's see what happens here. Ah, uh, yes, I need to bump up the parallelism with Olama. I've got it set to four right now. So I will come over here, kill that off. And when I run Olama, I set the parallelism here. I'll set that to eight. I think I've got enough available for that. All right, let's try this again. So I'll escape there. It's probably gonna be hard to tell the difference, but here we go. Oh, it's got to load the model too. Give it a second. That's how long it took to load the model, an eight gig model, and then actually get responses. That's not bad at all. All right, here we go. Isn't that cool? Can serve up so many clients at the same time, all with a single model on a single GPU. And yeah, it's a fast GPU, but to be honest, I actually could probably do this almost as well on an older GPU. So let's try that next here. I've got an AMD 6900 XT. And of course, it can do the exact same thing with multiple clients. Let's just see what that looks like here. All right, so I switched my little completions tool over to use a different machine, build 13. That's where I've got the 6900 XT at. And so if I come over here on my build 21 that has the 5090, I'll kill that off. That's not running now. Over on build 13, I've already got Olama running. I need to stop it though, because I need to bump up the parallelism here and set this to eight. Run that. Over inside of NeoVim here, I need to relaunch all these instances because I changed the config here. So I'll quit out of everything. All right, and then start NeoVim back up again. All eight instances, center things out. Oh wait, that's right. I wanna move up a little bit here. Give myself lots of room. And remember the first time I do this, it's gonna take some time to load the model. So give that a second. A Little bit longer, not terrible though. Okay, there you go, starting to get some completion. So took a bit more time to load the model, but once it's loaded here, let me escape out to cancel out, clear all those. Let's do this again here. Hey, that's not bad at all to be serving up eight different clients on a 6900 XT. So economically speaking, that's a heck of a deal to be able to serve all these clients with such a simple GPU. So part of the reason this is possible is because this is a small enough model at the seven billion parameter size. So it is not a tiny model at all. Quinn 2.5 model, the coder model. It is quantized to eight bits. So that is half of the full precision of FP16, or I think it's BF16. It's a good size model to do some really interesting things. You can see the completions here. They're all logical. They all make sense here. But it's a small enough model that for the most part, it's limited by the speed of the memory. And I believe the 6900 had about 512 gigabytes per second memory, which is not slow at all. I think it was DDR6. And that's in comparison to the 5090, which of course has about 1.8 terabytes per second. So it's about four times faster. And that's going to be the primary factor and the difference between these GPUs for this specific model. 
and this specific workload with multiple clients trying to access it at the same time. So if there's one takeaway from all of this, really, if you want to use completions and you don't want to pay somebody else for it, which I don't really think there's a good reason not to, but if you don't want to do that for any other number of reasons, there's no reason you can't just be running a local model using one of these Quinn models here with one of probably a hundred different plugins in NeoVim. And if you're using VS Code, there are multiple plugins there as well. You could pick any one of those, use Olama, pull down a model, start running it. Not a lot of work involved. And you can see the performance is actually pretty darn good.